The easiest way to create a connection between two lines is using fillet. The lines will automatically be trimmed or extended and a perfectly tangent arc will connect them. It's also possible to apply the circle command and use the TTR option. That option allows you to pick two divert tangent points and a radius. After entering the radius, the exact tangent points will be determined and a circle will be drawn that is exactly tangent to those points. With a bit of trimming, the result is the same as with fillet. Another way to create a tangent circle is by making offsets of the linear entities with a distance that is equal to the circle radius. Draw a circle with its center point on the intersection point of the offsets and again you'll have the same effect. Obviously fillet can also be applied to two arcs. You can also create this result in the opposite order. In this drawing the fillets are already created. Now it's a matter of connecting them with lines. This is possible with the tangent snap. When creating the line make sure the tangent snap is active and click somewhere on the circle. The three straight sides are created and they're all perfectly tangent to the circles. It's also possible to use the circle command in this case and use the TTR option like before. In this case you should mind where you pick the deferred tangent point. A little bit on the inside will result in a hollow side rather than a convex side. If there is only one linear entity as a base, you can use Urbanist tangent arc to linear command. This command allows us to pick a side of the linear entity and create an arc that is tangent to that entity. By moving the mouse, we can determine the radius and endpoint of the arc. The command shows the radius in the command line and by typing an R, we can even specify the exact radius. After that, it's only a matter of defining the endpoint. By selecting the other side of the line, an arc will be created on the other end. And we can even place a tangent arc on top of our newly created arc. This results in three separate arcs. When we use the Urbanist tangent arc segment command and apply it to a polyline, we see in essence the same thing happens. This time however it's not an arc that is created, but an arced segment is added to the polyline. This allows you to extend the polyline with tangent arc segments and create a perfect flow. You can find the tangent arc to linear and tangent arc segment command in the Urbanism app store. As long as the commands are stamped with the social download stamp, you can download them for free and try them out. Find the links in the post. Enjoy!